I don't know what jeans are. Please explain. I'm looking everywhere and I can't find an explanation. Mm. Well, Tom, how would you? Well, I mean, uh, I've, I've, I've answered this question via email and over Twitter before. I mean, hmm. jeans is, is all. Jeans is you. Jeans is me. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Don't worry, I don't know what that intro was either. This is the first video in a series on how I painted Summer from Hassle Free Miniatures. It's a great little model, there's not a lot of detail on it, but the scale makes it quite a challenge to paint. We'll start off by going over how I achieved the denim effect on the jeans. Begin by priming the model in black. Then, once that's dry, prime again, but this time in white, spraying the model from above at about a 60 degree angle. It's important here that you don't get a full coverage with the paint. The effect that you're looking for is that the white paint creates a speckled pattern on the surface of the model, which is going to give you a really nice starting point for your denim texture. For your initial base colour, you're going to want to use a medium desaturated blue tone. I've used Cantabric Blue from Scale Colour, but you could use Games Workshop Cantor Blue mixed with a bit of Calidor Sky to get the same sort of colour. Add some water to your paint to thin it down to a glaze consistency. Now we're simply going to glaze over the surface of the jeans. Notice here that because the paint is so thin, the grain from the primer shows through underneath. That's going to give you your initial denim texture. Try to keep the glaze moving over the model. Don't let the edges dry. You don't want any stains, so be careful to keep your brush active so that you don't give the glaze time to dry. Add another coat of the glaze just to darken the colour a little. You can see that this already gives you quite a nice effect, but we're going to build on that by first adding some shadows. So go ahead and make a glaze with Vallejo Armor Brown, and with a small amount on the brush, just glaze into the darkest areas of your jeans. So here under the leg, where it's tilted underneath the body. And we'll do the crotch as well. and then any little creases you can see in the fabric. And we'll just line around these little pockets on the side here to help separate them out a little bit. Next we're going to mix some scale colour light skin into your base colour. This is a really nice pale orange colour. There isn't really a direct equivalent in the Games Workshop line, but if you were to mix a bit of Luganuf Orange into some Kislev Flesh, you'd get pretty close.
To continue, we will stipple this colour onto the raised areas of the jeans and we'll just hit all the places where we want to build up a highlight. If you're not familiar with stippling, all you're doing is letting the tip of the brush bounce randomly over the surface, leaving little dots of colour. We're doing this to help make the denim texture more precise and also to create a bit of a colour change, as if the fabric has started to fade or get a little worn out. So keep adding more light skin to your mix and continue stippling. I'm going to build up more of the paint around the knee area just to get a more realistic look. Add some more light skin and continue building your highlights. Now I'm going to use the same colour and I'll just pick out some of these little creases on the fabric. In order to help with the texture, I'll paint on some small horizontal lines along the length of each leg. Notice that the paint here is still quite thin, 
so that the lines don't become too intense. Alright guys, so that's a pretty straightforward way of painting denim. It was a bit of an experiment for me as uh, it was the first time trying this kind of technique but I think it turned out quite well in the end. I hope you give it a try, it's really fun to do. In part 2 we'll go over how I approach painting female skin. Alright, so thanks again for watching, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time. Thanks again, bye for now.